with me as usual is Joshua Blake of NPC Voices. And today is our second installment of our series where we're ranking all the level 20 abilities of the classes in D&D. Coming in at number 12 was the Bard. And what do we have at number 11? Number 11, we have the Ranger with a little skill called Foe Slayer. Yes, and this is basically another reason to crap on the Ranger class because their level 20 ability less than impressive to us at least. Mm -hmm. So exactly what does the Foe Slayer do for you? So what the Foe Slayer does is when you're trying to hit a favored enemy of yours, um, which you get three at 20th level, you get to add your wisdom modifier to see if you attack or to the damage of the attack. Yes. Yeah. So basically you can do that once per turn, mm -hmm. adding your wisdom modifier to an attack roll or a damage roll, which is pretty good because, I mean, plus five, well, we're saying if it's a 20, and that's the other thing, it's your wisdom modifier. You could be a plus three, four, or five, typically at level 20. Mm -hmm. If you're a plus two, you probably shouldn't have chosen that class. <laughs> um, but usually, so it's about a three to five, usually a four or five at level 20, that you can add to a, to hit. Plus, you're all, also you're to hit already, whatever that is, which is usually high. So you're probably going to hit, or if you do get a hit, you can choose it and add five damage. Not that impressive, especially at 20th level. Exactly. Um, and then, why did we rank it so low? What are some of the troubles with it? Well, a, a couple of the drawbacks that you've already talked about is, for one, it's situational. It's once again just combat related. It's not outside. It can't really do anything else other than, once again, with your favorite enemy. If you're going for yeah. all these levels since you last chose your favorite enemy at 14th level, it's been six levels. You could have changed to a whole new story arc and you're not fighting the same types mm -hmm. of creatures. Mm -hmm. So if you're in this huge boss fight at 20th level and it's not a favorite enemy of yours, this doesn't help you whatsoever. You could literally go two, three, four sessions without facing your favorite enemy. We talked about this before where usually at 20th level you're out of one combat encounter mm -hmm. a session. So you could easily go three, four sessions without ever even getting to use this ability again. It's, so it is, like you said, it's limited because it is combat specific, it is favorite enemy specific, and you get three, and how many different types are there? Because humanoid then breaks down to subclasses. Yeah. So really, there's probably 15 to 20 different ones. So we're talking maybe, maybe 15% of the monsters that you face would be your favorite enemy. So it's, it's again, it's a very limited, limited thing. And that's, that's why we kind of rank it. And also, let's face it, plus five to damage. Yes, it's once per turn, which that's the one positive that mm -hmm. I like about it, is you can do it every turn. But plus five damage ain't going to make a difference at that. Usually you're fighting no. stuff that has 250, 300 hit points. Or you're fighting a collective group of things that have anywhere from probably three to 500 hit points. Five an extra turn is not going to do much. Yeah. Plus five to hit could mean the difference between a hit and a miss. Um, so that's kind of good. But yeah. Which, like, if you have, um, what is the one, sharpshooter feet? But that's in getting situational. And yeah, if it's you chose very it. situational. It's uh, yeah. So we it's we're not, not that impressed with it, but anyways, that it is what it is. Foe Slayer for the Ranger comes in at number eleven. Um, so that's basically it for the video. Yeah. Go ahead and comment below. Let us know what you think. Maybe you would rank that below Bard. Maybe you would have neither one of these in your bottom two. Let us know um, your thoughts so far, and um, stay tuned for the next video. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram. He is Joshua Blake at MPC Voices. I am Keith at fire.and.dice. And we will see you in the next video. See you Take care.